to my fear, just what I had feared most, it came to reality that I had the virus. The first thing that ran into my mind was my baby. At one point, I think I even thought of aborting the child. Actually, I cried. That was the worst moments in my life. I was seriously sick. Seriously. That is when the reality now dawned to me. And I said, no. I'm carrying another being in me. My boy's life was at stake. It was for me to make the radical decision and save his life or to keep quiet and see my boy get infected. The journey was not smooth. I conceived, yes, and then delivered. By the time I was doing all this, I had not disclosed my status. I was living with my husband. Now I was afraid of, how do I tell this man the outcome? So one night, he just sat the man down and explained to him in the best way possible that he could understand. I remember that night, it was hell. It's easier for a woman to live with a man who is positive and that woman will just be okay. But it's always the other way around. For a negative man to condone or to contain a positive woman, it's never easy. It's not an easy path. Fortunately, I thank God and the mental mothers that my boy at 18 months was negative and that's the pride I have. Working with the mothers to mothers, you'll meet all kind of people, you'll meet all kind of situation. Everybody you're going to meet depend on you and they know when they're in your hands, they're actually in a safe place. So I just wanted to help other women who may be, might be in the same shoes that I wore one time. Everybody, be it your HIV negative or positive, everybody deserves to be loved and deserves to be cared for. And the society has to contain all those different people for it to be complete. I joined Mothers to Mothers with a passion and all through that passion has been gearing me on and on. It's always my pleasure and my delight to see children turn out to be negative. <laughs>